Can AI really learn Mario Kart Wii? In my last video, an AI learnt to play Rainbow Road, but that doesn't really prove that AI can play Mario Kart Wii, but really just that singular track. In order to push our AI to its real limits, in this video we're going to be getting a single AI to learn four different completely unique tracks. To do that, we're going to be starting off with the mooiest of all the meadows, the ghostiest of all the valleys, the Lego brick inspired SNES Mario Circuit 3, and last but not least, DS Yoshi Falls. So upon birthing our AI, it acts pretty much like any infant would, crashing into a lot of things and making a lot of really stupid mistakes. However, after about 5 hours of training, it begins to improve a little and it just drives straight forward. This works fairly well for a while, since the start of most tracks are just straightforward, so this results in quite a substantial increase in reward. However, after 15 hours training, the AI learns how to do a corner, and it does corners pretty well. It only manages one corner, and really has no idea what it's doing after completing its first corner, but for now, it's a really good improvement. With a little more training though, it's able to figure out roughly where to go after doing each corner. It still doesn't really have much of a clue, but it's a good improvement and it shows that it's going in the right general direction even after having already learned something. From what we've seen, the AI seems to prefer SNES Ghost Valley 2 out of all of the tracks, as it makes it almost halfway around the track. It also does pretty well on Yoshi Falls, However, faces a bit of a setback when it tries to cross the waterfall instead of going across the bridge, making it significantly harder. As for Mario Circuit and Moo Moo Meadows, we definitely need a little more time training first. So whilst our AI is training, I wanted to ask, what exactly would an AI have to do to prove it could play Mario Kart Wii? Would it need to play just a single track, or four tracks, or every track for that matter? I mean, most humans I know can't even play Rainbow Road without falling off, and yet I'd definitely say they can play Mario Kart Wii. Let me know in the comments what exactly you think the requirement is. In order to give you an idea of how this project works, I'm using Dolphin Emulator, which is an emulator that allows you to play Wii games on PC. I'm then using some Python-based screen capture software that allows me to capture the game's frames and then pass that directly into the AI. The actions that AI chooses are then executed by using an emulated keyboard which is able to send actions directly to Dolphin. After executing every single action, my program then accesses Dolphin's internal memory, which allows me to get all sorts of value that the game uses to run. One of these values is the race completion variable, which calculates exactly how far around the track the AI is. This is used as a reward for the AI. After playing many, many games, the AI then learns to optimise these rewards, or in our case, it will learn to drive around the track. Technicalities aside, it's about time we get back to our AI, since as you can see now, it has just completed its very first lap of SNES Ghost Valley 2. Since all three laps of the track are pretty much identical, it does mean that after it's beaten one lap, it can pretty much beat all three, it's just a case of being more consistent. Shortly after figuring out that bridges are substantially safer to drive across than waterfalls, Yoshi Falls was the next track to go down, not long after SNES Ghost Valley 2. It was pretty unsurprising that these were the first two tracks to be completed, since they're some of the very shortest tracks in Mario Kart Wii, so they require a lot less understanding than a lot of the longer and more complicated tracks in the game. Even still though, it's a pretty big accomplishment that a single agent is actually able to learn more than one track. Something about this AI which really surprised me was that the next track to go down was actually SNES Mario Circuit 3, and not Moo Moo Meadows as I'd expected. This surprised me because SNES Mario Circuit 3 has some really sharp corners in it, and especially a particular U-turn, which is really difficult to make. On the other hand, Moo Moo Meadows proved quite challenging for the AI, because it had to try and figure out how to get past the grassy section at the end without touching any of the grass. It's quite difficult to get a way through, especially without going over the jump panel, so it really struggled on this for a while. After another 20 hours training, although the AI was still really struggling with Moo Moo Meadows, it had gotten a fair bit faster at the other three tracks. On screen now is a single lap of all three of them, just so that you can really see the improvements it made with an extra 20 hours of training. One of the main improvements the AI made was how often it would get mini turbos, 
Although the AI still cancels its drifts a lot, stopping it from getting a mini turbo, it does get them a lot more than it used to, which really helps pick up the speed. Anyway, I know what you're all here to see, so once it finishes this lap, we're going to have a look at the very final agent with 144 hours of training.